Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to create a wheel. First of all, and make sure your workspace units are in millimeters. By default, they most likely are inch, so change this. Create a sketch, you'll need to click on the top plane. You'll then need to click on the top to view it from the top. Create a circle, click once, drag your mouse out, click once more, and then type in your diameter. I'm just gonna use 40. You can then draw another circle by clicking the circle again or doing it once more. I'm going to make my internal diameter uh, 35. I'm then going to create a center diameter of 3 millimeters, and from here I can then create the insides of my circle. Now a quick way to do this is to create a center point rectangle. So I'm going to start at the center. I'm going to work my way out until I know it's touched the rim where it is highlighted orange. I'm going to click once, I'm going to do that once more on the other side. Now, I'm just doing this loosely just for illustration's sake. And then I'm going to get my trim tool and trim off the lines that I know I no longer need because if these are left on, they will be cut on the laser cutter. So, like so. Just remove all the excess. Once you're done, click Finish Sketch. Now I'm going to right click this sketch to start exporting. Click Export as DXF or DWG. You'll change this to DXF and you will download it and export it. Okay, you can also download as a DWG, which is also fine. So DWG and download or export, that's okay. It just means it downloads in an Illustrator format rather than a uh, Internet Explorer, which is fine. So once you've got it, click on your Part Studio 1. It will take you to Illustrator. So here's where it's important. You need to make sure you click Scale by 100%. Units are 1 to 1. Change it to millimeters. It will default change to 0.3. So change that to 1 millimeters and hit Enter. And you should have your wheel ready to go. If you highlight it just like I have now, if your workspace doesn't look like mine, just click up here and change it to Essentials Classic. Over the top, you will have your color. Most importantly, change your stroke to 0.001, hit enter. In your stroke, you can then go in and get your color swatches and change it. What we're looking for is for it to be red. So if we double click down the bottom here, we can go right up the top. 255 is red. Now. This hasn't quite worked, I made a mistake, so what I'm going to do is double click the bottom and make this a strike through, so which is this one here, and then I'm going to alternate this. So my stroke is default change, so I change it to 0.001, enter, and I'm ready to laser cut.